Hello, student. I'm Dr. Sam Bin Sheikh. This is the, today we discuss the, another formula of integration. In previous class, we, just, uh, we have tried trapezoidal rule, and now we can really try another formula. So, this is the same quadrature we have tried. So with the now the another method is the Simpson's rule. So the, in this quadrature, this now first of all Simpson's one third rule because there are two formulas, Simpson's one third rule and Simpson's three by eight rule. So when we put n is equal to one, because Simpson's one third rule is valid and limited for the quadrat quadratic function in, integ in integral. So because due to quadrature n is equal to 2 or n is equal to 2 and quadrature based upon the three point if we start the three point x naught y naught x1 y1 and x2 y2 first integral so that Higher differences after second will be zero in quadrature. So this is the quadrature. Just we take these three terms first in y naught, delta y naught, and delta square y naught. The cube is not necessary, and delta four it's not necessary. So when n is equal to two here up to delta square y naught. This will be this is the result h two y naught four upon two, and this is the result when n is equal to 2 put in a quadrature. So after simplification, after LCM, this is the LCM, and here after simply simplification LCM, and further simplification, and uh, solve delta y naught, delta square y naught according to definition, delta square y naught, this is the y, it's a quad, uh, quadratic, so this is a quadratic polynomial, in simplification, all terms, the result will be h upon 3, y naught plus 4 y1 plus y2. And this is the result of integration x naught to x2. Because we, uh, we take the 3 point x naught to x2, the result will be h upon 3, y naught plus 4 y1 plus y2. This is the first subintegral x naught to x2. Now we take integral 2 to 4, x2 to x4, x2, x3, x4. These are three points. So result will be 2 h upon 6, 2 to cancel, it will be h upon 3, same. 6 by 2, 6 delta y2, and this is the whole result. When we simplification all delta and delta, Square the result will be h upon 3 same 2 y2 plus 4 y3 plus y4. Here we here you see that when we integrate to f of x from 2 to 4, the result will be y2 to y4. In between y2 to y4, one entry is a fourth sign 2 to 4. In previously, when we integrate f of x to in between x naught to x two, same same entries are there. Y naught to y two, one is a fourth prime. You see that this is y one, it's odd value, and since this is also y three, this is odd value. Odd value are repeated fourth time. So similarly, second third integral, when we integrate f of x in between four to h, the result will be two h upon for six y four. Fifth is the fourth time and sixth entry. So that odd entries are repeated fourth time. And if you see that first integral is ending up to y2, second star from y2, means y2 is repeated, y4 ending here, and next integral y4 is starting, y4 is repeated. Similarly, when we integrate uh, f of x in further points, 
n minus 1 to nth value 2 h upon 6 remains same y n minus 1 fourth time and y so same uh, in the same process adding all above integral on left hand side and right hand side on left hand side only remaining integral is x naught to x naught plus n h and lower and upper limits are cancelled and the right hand side this right hand side 2 h upon 6 r h upon 3 both are same when we take uh, common and sum of all y entries so in left hand side apply the property of integral same process that integral is sub -in divided into n sub integral this is the property so the left hand side is remaining only x naught to x naught plus h this is a this is a b h upon 3 or 2 h upon 6 the same this is a these are the addition only in right hand side here we see that except the first and last entry first y naught and y n this is only single even entries are twice let's see that y2 y2 y4 y4 y6 y6 and odd entries are t time means fourth time so generally we can combine all h upon 3 first and last entry entry are combined and odd entries are combined multiply fourth time even entries are combined multiply the two times so this is a uh, formula of the Simpson's one set rule. And this is suitable for quadratic function. And the limitation is that the interval is divided into sub-interval and the limitation is even sub-interval must be required. Means that this integral, when we divide it into sub-integral, sub-integral, times must be even means two integral two sub integral four sub integral six sub integral this is the limitation in the same process we can easily die simpson one third rule when we put n is equal to three and we take four point x naught to x three x naught to x three the result will be three h upon eight this is called three by eight rule this is the result y naught, 3 by 1, 3 by 2, and y3. So, in the second 3 to 6, this is the result. And similarly, 6 to 9, this is the result. And same properties, adding all integral, left hand side, and this is the right hand side. This is the formula, 3h upon 8. This, these are the sum of values. When we combine y naught, y n, first and last entry, same, 3 times y1, y2, one entry or third entry and sixth entry, three multiple entries are separated. Three multiple, three, six, nine, twelve, these are the twice, and other are three. This is called a Simpson three by eight rule. And next one is the Weddell's rule. When we put n is equal to six, you can drive Weddell's rule easily with the help of the same pattern, same process. So these are the integral complete formulas, four formulas, trapezoidal rule, limited for linear function, Simpson's one-third rule, limited for quadratic function, and sub-interval must be even, and Simpson's three by eight rule, valid for cubic function mostly, and sub-interval must be three multiple means twice of the sub interval three six nine and twelve and Weddell's rule is valid for polynomial function of sixth degree and uh, sub interval must be six multiple so these are the four formulas trapezoidal simpson one third rule simpson three by eight rule and Weddell's rule main twice in whole in four formulas how many sub-interval are required? Trapezoidal rule, sub-interval, limitation is no on your choice. Simpson's one-third rule, even sub-interval. Simpson's three by eight rule, three multiple. And Weddell's rule, six multiple. So if we integrate any one function, 
with the help of all formula so interval sub interval must be six multiple at least six sub interval are required so we can easily apply any formula from trapezoidal to radial rule so your choice of sub interval is six at least either 12 either 18 these are the common sub interval when we choose common sub interval we can easily we can easily apply any rules trapezoidal rule to the radial rule so these are the proof of the formulas in next class we can we can solve any function through the formula thank you very much